Hi everyone, this is Shannon from the Irish Scrapper, uh, dot com, and today I have a different video for you. I have never done this before, but I figured I would give it a shot. Um, this is actually an unboxing video. So I just placed an order about a week ago, um, one of the biggest orders that I've placed, you know, at one time with Stamping Up. So I thought that I would open my boxes with you guys. Um, so that you could see all the fun stuff um, that I received, as well as just what it's like. Um, you know, I love Stampin' Up! products. They're extremely high quality. I've been crafting for about 13 years. Um, so I'd love for you guys to ask any questions you may have if you've never tried Stampin' Up! products um, and join in on the fun. So let's go! I hope the view is okay. Um, my camera position isn't great, but I'm hoping it'll work. All right. This is the fa my favorite part. Okay. So you can see I had quite, quite a large order here. So let's go ahead and see what we have. Um, so first, I have some snail adhesive refills. God knows we use a lot of adhesive, and we need that. Um, I've also ordered some more glue dots. I was running low on those. There's another snail. Set this all aside. Uh, let's see. I have um, the Fiesta Time Framelit. So let me show you. This is one of the new suites in our current catalog. Um, and I do have the stamp set in here, and I will try and find it. But let me just open this and give you a sneak peek. I'm really excited about using this. So you can see here's a llama, a cactus, some really cool banners, and some other images. So super fun. Let me get that in there. Okay. Set that aside. Here is another um, thinlet. So I already have the Flourishing Phrases stamp set um, that I earned for my title change with Snappin' Up. Um, so here are the thinlets that go with that, which are super intricate. I can't wait um, to try these out. There's some beautiful floral designs that coordinate with that stamp set. So those can be ordered as a bundle, um, and you save 10% by doing that. Let me try and find the Fiesta stamp set for you, since we just showed you. No, hold on. Here it is. Okay, so I just showed you the Fiesta thing. Here is the stamp set, the birthday Fiesta that coordinates with that. Hopefully there's no glare. So again, some super fun... Uh, images. There's the banners. Here's the llama and the cactus. Can't wait to use that. All right. I got some more blocks. I got the H block and the I block. Uh, you're always in need of blocks. I actually would like to have multiple sets of our clear blocks because I do love them. I got one of the new ink pads, which is um, the ombre. This is the Bermuda Bay, so this is like, you know, this, it's a shaded, you know, different tone of the same color. Um, so looking forward to showing you guys that. Let's see. I got some ribbon. Um, so from our new in colors, um, I this went out of stock very quickly when we got to pre-order, so I was able to get it now. So this is the Peekaboo Peach Rouged Ribbon, and this is the Flirty Flamingo which I love. I also got the Emerald Envy. So now I have ribbon in all of our in colors because I do love each and every one of them. Let me see. This was harder than I thought doing this on camera. Okay, this is something I've also been waiting for quite a while. This is our dye brush. Um, so this is what we use for those intricate dies to get all of those pieces out. So instead of having to poke each individual piece, we just lay the image on top of here and use the brush 
and it will come out perfectly. So I will be showing you that very soon. Here is our new classic label punch. Um, so this coordinates with many things, um, which is super fun. So I'm planning on using that a lot. Here is one of our embossing folders called Petal Burst. So just the petals of flowers. Okay, let me do some of these little, have some replacement blades here for my Stampin' Trimmer, which also scores. I love it, um, but I did need those blades, so I've gotten a bunch of those. Here are some of the in colors um, that I just spoke about. So the 16 through 18 in colors, the enamel shapes. Um, so you get one of each of those colors in here, which is 200, so you get a lot. So that's a great value. Okay, here are some of our clear envelopes. So I'm planning to use these when I'm packaging up my cards. Um, I do have people asking to buy cards from me quite often. Um, and I also just use them as gifts. So I like to have these envelopes on hand. I'm always running out of envelopes. So here are our Whisper White Medium envelopes. I just ran out of those today, so I was really waiting on that. Here is some of our copper embossing powder. This is super pretty. I've seen this quite a bit on other people's um, videos and blogs, and I'm very anxious to use that. Let me grab some of my stamp sets here that I ordered. Um, here is one of our very popular stamp sets called Swirly Bird. Um, you will be surprised by how many things you can do with this. At first when I saw this in the catalog I thought oh I don't think that's something that I need or you know had to have um, and now after a couple months of seeing others use it I knew I had to have it. I mean there's so many things you can do with all these different shapes. These flowers are awesome. Um, so I did, let me see, I'm pretty sure I ordered Maybe it's not in here. Maybe it's back ordered. I didn't look at my at my order um, because I do think there are um, thinlets that coordinate with this. So I will find them here. Let me keep let me keep going so I don't get distracted. Okay, um, here is one of our stamp sets called Gorgeous Grunge. Um, it is an awesome stamp set to have for different backgrounds. This has been in our catalog for probably over a year. Um, and again, it was one of those things that I thought, oh, I can live without, um, but I do love it and I wanted to make it a part of my collection before it goes away. Uh, same thing with this one, Watercolor Wash. Just a very large background stamp um, that I look forward to using with some soft, subtle colors. I think that'll be super pretty. And then here is another fun one. Um, so again, this is a bundle, so you save 10% when you order bundles from my um, store. Uh, this is called Jar of Love, and it coordinates with Everyday Jars Framelits. So you can see it has super cute mason jars in different size, sizes. So perfect for shaker cards, which are very popular right now and everybody seems to love. Um, some really cute... Um, sentiments here as well as again lots of images so this is a, a very nice full set um, to have and we will be using that in upcoming videos here is another set that I've been waiting for called better than email um, I like to make sure I stamp on the backs of all my cards, you know, saying it's made for you or the Stampin' Up! copyright, etc. So this is our brand new one um, that has lots of cute uh, new images for everybody. So you'll definitely want to check that out. Okay, here is another embossing folder, and this is the Sparkle embossing folder. So you can see it's kind of got this little shape, which embossed looks sparkly. Okay. Uh, let's see what else we have. 
here is, oh, here is the embossing folder that coordinates with that festive suite we talked about in the beginning. So this is called Festive, um, and it is one of the larger folders, as you can tell, um, to, that coordinates with that set. Here are some more envelopes. I thought I ordered two of those. Um, again, I have some 6x8 uh, cello bags um, for using um, with gifts. These are a great size um, and always nice to have on hand, so I like to keep those around. All right, um, here is an archival black Stampin' uh, refill. I needed that for my ink pad. I also ordered the Pop of Pink designer washi tape, so super fun. One of my favorite colors is Melon Mambo, which I know is many people's favorite. So I look forward to using that. Uh, I also purchased the black, basic black stamp and write marker. Um, these come in very handy when you're, you know, dealing with an an image that, you know, it might be large and you're just wanting, you know, certain parts of it to stamp with. You can just use your marker on the stamp um, to just stamp, you know, the piece that you want. So I've been anxious to get my hands on that as well. Uh, here is the Brights Collection ink refills. Uh, I've had my stamp pads probably for about a year now, um, and I am definitely needing to refill some of them, so I'm anxious to do that. That's what's nice. You know, you don't have to go and buy another stamp pad. You can just refill it, and you can also use the refills for many other things. When you're watercoloring, um, you know, if you want to use it with a sponge or spritzer, you know, anything like that. All right, so here is a set of stamp pads. So this is a set of 10, and these are all of the subtles. So I am still building my collection, um, and so far I need a couple more, but I needed quite a few of these subtle colors, so I decided just to order the whole set and can't wait to get my hands on those. Okay. Hopefully that doesn't fall. Alright. Um, here are some Project Life journaling pens. So I started crafting um, when I, as a scrapbooker, really, um, quite a few years ago when my first child was born, and I still do it now. I'm trying, of course, always to keep up with their school pictures and you know events at school so um, I needed a good pen to use and I'm trying to um, start some project life scrapbooking I used to do the traditional scrapbooking which took a lot of time so I'm looking forward to trying the project life um, products from Stampin' Up! so I got the pens to get started with alright I also ordered the black metallic thread so I love this thread. It's very fine. It lasts a long time. I already have it in silver and gold. Um, so it's always a nice embellishment to use. So I'm going to crack that open soon too. Okay, so here is the Festive Birthday Designer Series Paper. So this coordinates um, with that suite that I told you about. So fun. Let me see if I can open this for you guys. Without ruining, just to give you kind of a sneak peek. Yeah, see all these bright, fun colors. And it's double sided, which is great, so you get double options. Can't wait to use that. And I love 12 by 12. I have not ordered a lot of 12 by 12, and I am missing it, so I'm glad to get my hands on some more. Um, this is the Pop of Pink designer series paper. So that's going to coordinate with that washi tape I just showed. So let me give you a sneak peek of this. This side is a bunch of black and white, some gold, sprinkles, dots. Here's some Melon Mambo. There's some more. I hope I'm getting all this on camera. There's some black. So again, super fun. Try not to, yeah, I'm ripping that a little bit. Okay, put that aside. Up oh, here's some more clear envelopes. 
I went a little crazy with the clear, well, with envelopes in general. I use so many of them. I love them. Okay, and then we have some silver glimmer paper, which you can never go wrong with. I have all the glimmer papers, and I love them. They're a great way to just add a little something to your projects. Okay, so let me just try and put some of this back in the box so I can show you my next box. Yes, there is one more box coming. Try to drop this all in here without damaging anything. Okay. I have been waiting for this poor UPI, UPS guy all day. Um, and of course, the day that I'm home waiting for him, he took his sweet time. So, unfortunately, it's already evening here. And I was hoping to play all day, um, but it came too late. So here is my other box. And this one is my most favorite. Can't wait to show you. Hopefully I'm getting this. I'll try and tilt you guys up a little bit. Maybe you can guess what is in here. Hopefully I can get it out. I, oh, let's see. Okay. Let me try this a different way. Let me move this box out of my way. Let me take some of this off. Some of you are probably know what it is already. Okay, here we go. A new Big Shot. I am super excited uh, for the new Big Shot. I have a Big Shot that's very old. Um, so I've been holding off, just wondering, you know, did I really need to replace it and whatnot. And I finally decided to go ahead and, and do it. So um, here is the Big Shot. Um, you can see it comes with the new thin die adapter, um, which is perfectly um, coordinates with the, you know, thinlets and framelits from Stampin' Up! So that's going to save from having to switch constantly with the platforms. Um, so yay! You will be seeing me using the new Big Shot. Um, Alright, I think that is it. I'll have to check my order to make sure nothing is on back order. Um, but I do appreciate you guys watching and um, look forward to being back with some new videos this week. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.